guys and welcome back to vlogmas day 10. it is eight o'clock in the morning and i've already been productive i got up took a shower got dressed and i am ready to decorate this house for christmas because it is like it's december 9th and all i have up is the tree i did get the stockings put up um last night but it needs to be christmas up in here so I actually just finished um, filming two live videos, one for um, my giveaway today for some hair products that I have been using and absolutely loving. I just cannot even get over how much this has helped my hair journey. So if you are in need of a hair journey, let me know. Head over to my Facebook and check out my live. Um, that's where I put all the info or on my Instagram actually because I did film um, kind of a fun reel. It really was just like I did not plan it out whatsoever um, kind of on the fly and it turned out pretty good. So go check it out. Um, and I'm actually standing number one. Hello. I made the bed today. Yes. Pat myself on the back for that one, but I am standing in front of my light wall, which oh, I'm loving. I, I wish I could leave it up all year. I mean, I guess I could, but I feel like it definitely gives off the winter vibes. Um, so yeah, that's just pretty much what's going on right now. I still have yet to decorate the house for Christmas. I brought a couple things out, um, but maybe once the kids go to bed, I really can get going on decorating and maybe like for when they wake up, they can see everything. So um, yeah, and I, oh, I took out brats for dinner. So we'll probably have that on white bread because we don't have any buns or anything. Um, yeah, <laughs> gotta work with what we have. I still haven't gone to the grocery store because we have a ton of stuff in the freezer that we just need to go through and I've just been really trying hard to go through everything that we have. We have a few things in the pantry, some things in the freezer, and yeah, just kind of trying to use all that stuff up. And I just realized that it's 4.30 and I need to go wake Sienna up so that she's ready for bedtime. Pretty girl. What are you doing? Hi. Where's your baby? Where's your baby? Did you drop him? Did you drop Spike? Oh, hi. Hello, pretty princess. Who's this? It's your baby. Hi, I need to lower down your crib, huh? Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely need to. Um, I've been meaning to lower down her crib mattress. So maybe I'll do that this afternoon. <gasps> Hello. Did your mommy come to get you? Hi. <laughs> yes, hello. Yeah. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you, baby girl. Yes, thank you for the kisses. Oh, yep. You got lipstick on you now. Yeah. Who is that? Is that you? Yeah. Your daddy and brother went on a walk? Yes. I think they took the wagon. Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> you do? You want to go for a walk or do you want to eat? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that one. Yes, you want to eat, huh, oh, baby? Yeah. They can't see you. They can't see you. Here you are. <laughs> well, good morning. It is clearly the next day. Um, I am just getting up. Oh, that doesn't help when I cover the camera. I'm actually just getting up. I'm gonna head outside. 
I've gone up, showered again. I'm on a roll here. Go, go potty dogs. Uh, I'm letting the dogs outside right now, but you guys, it is absolutely beautiful out here right now. It's raining. I can't even tell you the last time that we had rain. It's been, it's honestly been months. And it, oh my gosh. But go, go potty. Now the dogs don't want to go pee because it's raining. They're like afraid of the water. Um, but yeah, I've washed my face, or I took a shower, washed my face and everything, did my little morning routine. So letting my moisturizer set in and everything um, before I put any makeup on. I do have an appointment today and I'm hoping that I'll be able to um, run an errand, but I just wanted to hop in and actually close out. Let me hold this further away. I feel like when I was editing the video the other day, I just was holding it way too close um, to my face and it was just like, oh, there's Charmaine. But um, yeah, I thought that I would hop on this morning, close out this vlog and actually show you, I did get a little bit more um, Christmas decor up. <clears throat> but before I do that, I just wanted to have a little chat and tell you guys about how um, Vlogmas has actually really been helping me out. I feel like it's helping me to kind of find a routine of not only obviously vlogging daily, um, but then needing to edit those videos and get them uploaded each day. Um, I'm finding that the editing process has been a lot easier than it was in the past. And I feel like that's due to um, when I film, I'm being intentional about what I'm saying so that I don't have to end up cutting out a ton of footage because if you guys would have gone back and seen how much, how much time it truly took to edit a video and get it uploaded, you would be like, Charmaine, why are you killing yourself? This is ridiculous. I mean, don't get me wrong, it still takes quite a bit of time, but I am finding that it's getting easier and I appreciate that. So there's definitely benefits of vlogging every day or just being more consistent of doing that. Um, and I still want to share, you know, a lot of our life so that we have these memories to look back on. And also right now it's, um, I feel like it's really beneficial to our family members who are able to watch these and get to see our kids because obviously that's been you know basically non-existent for the last 10 months um as i'm sure everyone else is in that boat so if you've been thinking about vlogging i say pick up your camera and just go for it you know every day is going to be a learning process we don't all start out as those you know million follower youtubers and kudos to those YouTubers who have been vlogging every single day and posting every single day for the last like 10 years because man, this is a lot of work. But um, like I said, it's getting easier every single day. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited that I'm doing this and I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. So the dogs are not gonna go pee. So let's go ahead and head inside so that I can show you the um, Christmas decorations that I've done. Okay, that's better, I've got the light on now. Um, but if you are following me on Instagram, you already saw these last night because I posted some pictures of them. The lighting wasn't the best, um, but I've turned the lights on and now, so let's go ahead and see what we've got going on. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's just confidently Char. Um, I'd love to have you follow me over there and see what's going on. So first up, I dug out the tree skirt, got that put underneath our tree collar, actually. We have a very, um, you know, rustic -y farmhouse vibe, although we really don't have many decorations up on our actual walls. Don't mind this stuff right here. This is actually um, an order for someone, but these are, oh, I can show you. These are the headbands I was working on the other day. Um, they're these super cute nylon stretch headband, little twist headbands. Um, and then these are the wooden ornaments if you have not gotten a chance to take a look over at Magical Dream Designs. It's this super adorable set of three. And I just love them so much. I totally feel like they're Joanna Games inspired. Um, but 
I went ahead and put our tree topper on as well. Um, and I think our tree topper actually came from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and then um, I just got this um, tablecloth. I thought it was kind of funny and just, I don't know. I, I like a rustic slash whimsical Christmas vibe. Um, this I've actually had for a long time. Um, uh, you put a big candle or some sort of candles in here. I just haven't gotten them out of my, um, I think they're up in my pantry with all my Christmas potters. And then this is like, um, what are those called? Like a, I don't, I keep wanting to say candle stopper. I don't know, but snuffer. So then it snuffs out the candle. Um, but yeah, I just thought this tablecloth was kind of funny. We finally have matching stockings. So I got those hung up here. Um, it's actually perfect. I just put them up with tacks and underneath the shelves so that you really can't see the holes once we take them down. And then we just have this baseball nutcracker. Um, our first Santa picture as a family of three. I don't know what we're going to do about Santa for this year. Um, oh, and then we've got the kids, um, little felt Christmas tree over here. Ricky was playing with that yesterday. And then this actually was last year. If you saw my kids gifts, um, or what I got my one year old for Christmas, this was one of the things and it was an advent calendar that actually each day you opened it up and came with these, all these fun pieces and everything. And it came with this, this was the one like VTech actual noise making item. Um, but, uh, but he's actually been setting it up, like putting all these things on this mat over here and this square right here, you put the VTech vehicle, whether it's that train or any of the other ones that you have and, um, it automates it. Like it makes noise. And then we have our advent calendar, um, which when little Ricky gets up, I'm going to have him switch it over and I'm curious I was having this conversation with someone last night how do you guys do your advent do you count backwards down to one or do you start at one and go to 25 I feel like because this one because it has this um like green almost garland stitched around the 25 I feel like I'm supposed to go from one down to 25 because that should be meaning that it's Christmas um, so comment below whether you count backwards with your advent or go forwards. And then the last piece of Chris, oh, you know what? I have a couple other things to show you, but I do have this garland. It's so cute and funny. Um, it's Santa and his elf, or I think two elves, yeah. Um, they're little outfits. <laughs> I just thought that, that was like really funny. Oh, maybe it's only one elf, yeah. I think the little suspenders or something. No, whatever. Um, but you have just like their little laundry clothes pinned out to dry. But that, again, that just ties in with the whole whimsical Christmas theme. And this guy, I have actually, um, we've had it since I was a kid. And it's a little rocking Santa. Um, and he just like, when you like rock him forward, he'll be like, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And my son loves it. He just Picks, comes over and picks up Santa and hugs him all the time. And then this one I actually got on sale. It was like over half off last year. This is our um, climbing Santa. Um, it's so cool. I've always wanted one. And when I saw it on sale last year, I had to grab it. But he literally just climbs up and down the ladder, holding onto the lights. Um, and then this little Santa sack back here um it plays music it's like a little speaker so i can turn it up um, but i don't want to get any sort of copyright or anything but yeah we've been having that yesterday was the first day that we actually haven't um had him going i was surprised my son didn't ask for him to be turned on but He'll just get to the very top. I think it's right about here. Yep. And then down he goes, back down the ladder. 
And um, if, in case you're wondering about this, it, it, it does have like a brace that actually connects to the center pole of your tree. I'm curious of how that would work if you were to have like um, a real tree and not an artificial tree. But I did notice that the bottom plate is actually, it's very heavy, so it's weighted so that it doesn't fall or anything like that. But if you don't have a tree, I guess you can um, suction cup it maybe, maybe to the wall if you had um, like more of a shiny finish on your wall or even just the window. That would probably work too.